Hey guys, it's Serena Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 138 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you already attended it, let's just dive right in. So this question, honestly, there's so many different ways to solve this. But I think I'm going to approach it with this way. Hope that makes sense for you guys. This range here is x plus y is less than so 10, so it's going to be this range here. And there's actually two possible expectations, as in like two possible maxes when so let's say this is like y is equal to x because the expectation for this triangle here is different than the, um, this triangle here because when in this triangle here the expectation is going to be the value of x right but then in this triangle the um, expectation is going to be a value of y because we're trying to maximize the value if that makes sense <laughs> but anyways anyways so if we're trying to find this expectation of the, let's say, the lower triangle, a case where y is less than x, then we know that the expectation of x is equal to x times the probability function, where the probability function is given up as 1 over 50. And we can integrate in, ter in terms of dx dy. This is going to be equal to 10 minus x. And integrating going from 0 to 10 for y. Or, like, instead of solving this integral, we can also think, because we know this is a uniform distribution, this area right here must be uniform. And so we can actually take the area of this triangle, which is going to be 1 half base, which is equal to 10, times height, which is 5, which is equal to 25. And what is the total area of this triangle? Well, this total area is 50. So we know that the expectation of x, this part right here, just this part, is equal to one half of the expectation of the whole thing. And what is the expectation of the whole x? Well, that is equal to, because we know that this is uniform, un for uniform distribution, expectation of x is just going to be b plus a over 2. So in our case, it's going to be 10 plus 0 divided by 2. So it's going to be 5. So they're saying this, this lower triangle, the expected value of this thingy is one half the expected value of x. So in our case, this is going to be 5 halves. And likewise, we can actually say the same thing for the top triangle. The top triangle is going to be what this whole, the top triangle is also 1 half of the expected value of y. So then we know this is also equal to y 5 halves. So then adding up the 5 halves and the 5 halves together, this is equal to five our answer d if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below otherwise as always make sure you like subscribe and share bye